Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mangs, and I welcome you to the second part of Let's Play Advanced Wars Days of Ruin. We're about to head into a raider camp, and we're gonna slay Bat of the Beast. Alright, chapter 4, moving on! Raiders Base Camp. Here's Bat of the Beast. Listen up, Roaches. We're low in supply, so it's time to swarm a village. Take what you want, steal what you want, kill who you want. There's no law but the beast's law. No prisoners, no mercy. Gwar -har -har -har. Oh, this guy is so evil and generic. Sir, the mayor was right. Those raiders are camped at an old army base. That's probably where they sav scavenged their weapons and vehicles. They lack the discipline of a competent army unit, but no, not the fighting skill. Agreed, and we know that there are former soldiers and mercenaries among their number. They may have been fellow soldiers once, but they're just a pack of dogs now. Let's put them down before they do any more harm to the survivors. Alright, fuck of war, cool. Captain Brenner, all units have been deployed, sir. Good, still no sign of the enemy? No, sir. But this dust prevents us from seeing pretty much of anything. Of course, it keeps us hidden too, so I guess it's not all that bad. My training was in re recon re reconnaissance and intelligence, leave this to me. All units move out. Okay, are we playing as Lin now? Is there... Scout unit Bravo reporting. Visibility is poor and we lost visual contact with the enemy. I can hear something out there, but I think we're nowhere here, sir. Understood, Bravo. Get somewhere safe. We're on our way. Watch the woods, sir. I think the raiders are hiding there. Alright. Um... Can I see my... My CO anywhere? Oh, what the fuck? Where's this? Lin, uh, I mean, sir, hello? Lin, is that you? What the fuck? Gwar har har, guess again, loser. No, w wait, what are you doing here? Giving tactical advice, what is it? What? Why is the beast giving tactical... What? You're giving me... Wait, is this a trick? Where's Lin? Gwar har har, so you want your mummy, huh? Well, tough beans. This is beast country, and no one knows it better than me, so listen up. What? Why is the beast giving me info? Okay, is this like, is this support to be part of the story, or is it just joking with me? There's one thing I love, it's abusing, it's ambushing little chumps like you. So don't move without thinking, use your flares to see what's up ahead. And get foot soldiers into the mountains to give yourself a better view. Now do as I say. Gar har har, I'm the beast and I love me a good tactics section later, little man. Okay, that was kind of weird. Okay, that was kind of weird. I mean, I understand that the game is sort of trying to take a light-hearted approach, but... Don't make the beast give me info. <laughs> Alright, tactics, uh, terms... Is there no way I can... status? Is there no way I can actually see what kind of CO I'm using? I'd like to see, like, maybe I can... if I click Lin or something like that? I can click this screen with my mouse, but... Hmm... Like, seriously, I want to see what Lin does. Or can't I do that yet? Alright. Fuck it. Let's, um... Get those foot soldiers into the mountain. Now! Into the mountains? Why? Did they stop teaching basic recon tactics at the academy? Infantry and mech units can see farther than when stationed on mountains. Uh, okay. No! Ah! Surprise, little man! The beast is coming out of his cave! Oh, well, fuck. I got ambushed. Oh, we should be able to... Oh, what's this? And why is the emulator bugging out? The flare unit is ready to fire. Oh, we started this at the academy. Okay, this is weird. Why is the emulator bugging out? Flare can help recall enemy positions and poor visibility location. Okay. Um, this is weird. Um, something weird with the sound. Huh. Okay, well, there's nothing I can do about that right now. Aim the flare anyone you think the raiders may be hiding. This unit could be the key to our victory today. Okay, so there... Hmm. So this flare apparently bugs out the emulator. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'll better use it then. Right, so it can actually reveal Fog of War. That's kind of cool. But for some reason, it bugs out the sound big time. Oh, it also reveals uh, the woods. Okay. Flares a bright... Uh, uh, flares fire bright rockets that reveal 13 square area in Fog of War. Okay. That's kind of overpowered. Kind of makes Fog of War less foggy, I suppose. Alright, let's see if we can rescue that. Uh, okay, now it also bugs out for some reason. Hmm, that's weird. Alright, let's uh, kill these guys. I suppose infantry can handle bikers fairly well. Yeah, they can. I don't know why the sound is keep 
keep fucking up like this, but it may have something to do with Fog of War, I don't know. It's certainly not my computer, because it's going well otherwise. Alright. No one attacks the beast in his own home. No one. Swarm roaches show no mercy. Ah. Scott, you know Bravo has been hit. I'm trying to raise them on the radio. Bravo, do you read over? Scout unit Bravo reporting. We're taking heavy fire. We can't continue the mission. We have to retreat. Understood. Double time it back to the base, soldier. Roger that, sir. Pay attention, Will. Remember that soldiers are a precious resource. We know there's risk in war, and some casualties are inevitable. But it's our duty to get as many, get as, many of them home as possible. Alright. My bad, then. Alright. Uh, we can use this flare again. Of course, it's gonna bug out the sound, but fuck it, right? Alright, no soldiers over here. Let's see, what can we do right here? There's still no... This doesn't seem like the enemy has tanks yet, so that's interesting. Bang! A level 2 infantry incoming. Now where's the rest of these guys? So I see that mechs can still move into mountains prohibited, unprohibited. That's kinda cool. That's it. That's everything he has left. Okay. Seems cool. Can I kill this guy now? Should be able to do it. Yeah, max rank infantry, bitch. Alright, that's it, I think. Oh, they defeated me! This ain't happening! The world is over! Why do these do-gooders care what thing we do? I'm the beast! No one says no to me! Not even the bunch of soldier boys! I'll be back, losers! And I'm gonna kill everyone last of all! Well, I pissed them off, and uh, apparently I only got an A rank. Probably because I lost the scouts. Well, Lin fucking told me to move into the mountains, so I guess the game kind of set you up toward the AP ambushed. Oh, hello there. I like her attire even more now. I never miss a thing. So she's kind of like the Sonya of this game? Does she get more vision, I suppose? You did it! You draw off those savages! I don't think they'll bother you again. Thank you, Captain Brunner. I think my village can sleep soundly tonight. I'm glad. Now let's talk about your side of the bargain. We draw them off, now you need to provide Will and the other civilians with shelter. I didn't agree to the- What? What? Are you kidding me? Also, apparently, I forgot to turn off Skype. Uh, yep, that's me, right there, in case you didn't notice. There we go. <laughs> I love I can just do that now. Oh, it's so amazing, I don't even need to pause the recording. God, I love that camp station. Alright, we saved your village. You promised to take in the civilians. I said nothing of the sort, Captain. While wow, this guy is the biggest douchebag in the world. All I said was that if I, if you scared off those savages, then I would consider it. It's not right, people. That's what I said. Your mayor is a man of his word. Yeah, that's right. That's what he said. I don't believe this. Captain, please control yourself. Even if you can't see this bargain of yours affects my entire village. I may be the mayor, but I do not rule by fiat. We are civilized men, after all. We will come to a decision in due course. Until then, you must be patient. Why, you double-crossing? You have only yourself to blame for your anger, Captain. If you misunderstood my words, then the fault is yours alone. I have done nothing wrong. Wow, this guy's like douchebag McDouchens and... Like, like I, don't really, I don't really understand this guy. He should be befriending Brenner, because there might be more guys coming back to pillage the village. And if you kind of make enemies of the only guy who's actually willing to save you, then your village is doomed. I, I don't care. I see. Will you threaten us now? Will you let your guns take the place of your honor? Perhaps we should have taken our chances with the savages. No, Mayor, I won't threaten you. I won't do anything to unnerve these people that you pretend to care for. What? How dare you? I remember you. I remember how you were scared, alone, on the verge of death. Do you remember your words to me when my men gave you food and shelter? I will save others as you have saved me, Branner. I will construct a village where all can live in peace and rebuild their lives. Do you remember that? Or did I misunderstand your words again? Who are you to say such? You are a killer, a soldier, a relic of the past. I give these people peace. I give them hope. You give nothing but horror and death. Captain Brenner! Will? Sir, I know you have our best interest at heart, but it's okay. Look, I might be safer here, here in this village, but I don't want to stay. I want to serve with you, Captain. You and the battalion. Out of the question, Will. It's too dangerous. People who truck with us don't live very long. You're young. Your life is ahead of you. Please, Captain, please, let me stay, let me fight with you. Honestly, I don't seem to have much choice, and I admire your courage. Alright, Lynn, Will, prepare to move out. Good luck, Mayor. I think you'll need it. 
All right, so we're moving on from the douchebag mayor. Hey, how's she doing? Oh, well, thanks for coming again today. She's going to be very pleased. I hope so. Sometimes I just don't know if she even gets it, you know. She looks forward to your visits, Will. When you're here, she is bright and cheerful. Otherwise, she seems a bit sad. Really? Really, but don't worry about it. We'll take care of her. She's going to be okay. Who? Oh, this chick. Uh, hi. How's it going today? I brought you something. I hope you like it. A flower? Yeah, well, it's not a real flower. It's plastic. You can't find many real flowers anymore. I found it while I was on a recon mission a few miles over. It's beautiful. What do you call it? Oh, I don't know. I'm not much of a flower or scientist guy. Let me ask Lynn. No, wait. I remember. This is Cattleya Isabella. It's a natural hybrid of the orchid family. Cattleya, yes. That's it. That will be my name. I will be named after this beautiful flower you brought me. My name is Cattleya. Uh, Cattleya? Well, that's, that's kind of hard to say, actually. How about I call you Isabella? That's really pretty. It fits you better. Isabella? Oh, I love it, Will. I'm so happy. Yeah, oh, good. I think it suits you. Thank you, Will. Boy meets girl, boy me gives girl flower, boy names girl. What's wrong with this world? It's called romance, Lynn. You might have a try to have a go at it, like once you're done drooling over Brenner. Now come on, she totally has a crush on her superior. Lieutenants, uh, what are you doing here? I've been here the whole time, just keeping an eye on you. Wow, oh, she's a, she's a stalker too. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, we'll do another mission. This video is only 11 minutes and 40 seconds long. Oh, I love Kim Station. Chapter 5, New Allies. New Wolfington. There are still some buildings standing. Maybe the people survived too. At first glance, this city seems extraordinary, well preserved. Alright, spread out and look for survivors. Move slow and easy. I don't want anyone to mistake us for raiders. <laughs> Who's this guy? Oh, hello, I see you. I see you there. Can you help me? Yes, I hear you. Are you hurt? Do you need assistance? Please, my good man, not one step further. Do you come in peace? I do. I'm Captain Brenner. I lead the 12th Battalion under of the Rubinel Army. You don't say? Well, that's simply marvelous. Welcome, Captain Brenner. Welcome. It is a great honor to have you here. Uh, th thank you. Uh, who are you? My name is Dr. Morris. I was elected to speak for the free citizens of New Wolfington. Are you in charge here? Oh, I guess you could say that. I told them I wasn't really the man for the job, but they chose me anyway. I used to be a resident, but now I'm a president. <laughs> Perhaps you didn't hear me correctly. I said I used to be... I heard you. My unit is desperately short of supplies. Can you time spare food, medicine, or weapons? We will repay you however we can. Supplies? Uh, well, you see... Oh, you're giving yourself a 21-gun salute, eh, Brenner? Those weren't my men. I think we're under attack. I suggest you make yourself scarce, scarce, Doc. This could get ugly. Oh, let me guess. It's the beast again. Intel reports that the raiders have regrouped to attack the city. They're tenacious. I'll give them that. Stupid, but tenacious. Stupid can kill you, Lin. Let's move. I, I really like Brenner's one-liners. He's really cool. That factory seems undamaged. Can we get it up and running? Oh, yes, it works. And that's a fact. Get it? Fact. Factory. <clears throat> This guy is, like, worse than Mangroth, holy crap. Countless automated weapon factories were built during the Great War, but I'm sure you're more familiar with that than I am. If you have the materials, you can use them to produce units. I've heard of such factories, but I've never operated one. Oh, it's easy as pie, we just need someone to capture them. If you do so, we'll turn the control of the factory over to you and your men. We'll also provide you with what few troops we have. That will help, thank you. I assume I can leave the military decisions to you, Captain. I think that's for the best, but at the risk of sounding ungrateful, why are you doing this? This is no ordinary band of soldiers you command, Captain, am I right? Stories of Brenner's wolves have spread across this ruined land. This world is destroyed, yet you do devote yourself to helping survivors. The people of New Wolfington saw fit to trust me. I hope I can trust you. I'll do all I can. Now get to safety, there isn't much time. Alright. I would strongly suggest that you move a soldier or bike to the factory. Yeah, blah blah blah, capture the factory, I know. Alright. Got some enemy units over here. Well, I don't got many soldiers at all, do I? Well, that's kind of cool. Infantry mech. Yeah, they can capture factories. I don't need you to tell me that. The capture is underway. You can't capture... Yeah, I know how to capture a factory. I really love the capture animation. It's kind of cool. Okay, let's see. It's very open terrain. I should probably get this... Uh, get my tanks moving. Probably set up a defensive concave of some sort. That's right. Bikes can actually capture towns. That's kind of cool. 
Guar har har. No one makes a fool of the beast and lives to tell about it. Swarm roaches, take what you can and leave no one alive. Okay. Okay, so let's see. These guys can now attack us, but those are bikes. They don't really got a lot of tanks, do they? And the tanks they have seems to be positioned at their HQ. That's kind of cool. The city has been captured. Good, restoring power to cities will boost your factory. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. You get money from cities. <laughs> and now they're gonna... The factory has been captured. Now we can produce more units. Great. We can produce more units. Okay, can I attack from here? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, they move seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so if I move my tank up, I'm gonna get attacked, so... Let's try not to do that. Let's let's make them come to us. Seems like a better better thing to do. I would like to interrupt that cap though. Oh, hello. This unit has, has taken damage, but it can be repaired. Yes, it can be repaired if we place it on the city. So so far this game is very similar to uh, to Advanced Wars in every single way. Alright, so we'll attack this recon. Okay, there's a tank over here. I would not like that to get the first strike on me. Uh let's see what can we do over here with this recon? Hmm. I can attack over here and then take up this bike, I suppose. Place the artillery on the city. We need to destroy this thing. Let's go capture the city to get some extra income. Alright, we can produce some units right now. They're most likely going to tell us how to do that, but we don't need that. Okay. Let's get a tank. We don't need a flare. Supply, supply. Supplies! Oh, crap. They got the first strike on me. Well, that's fine, because my artillery is going to get prepared now. Which we can use to take down this thing. Uh, let's see how is the best way to do this. We should probably attack from here. Destroy this tank, most likely. And we can use this tank to just to interrupt this cap. Use this recon to take down this infantry. Use this infantry to destroy this infantry. I do believe the damage numbers are roughly the same. So I know how I know roughly how each engagement will work out. Okay, that's a little bit bad. I should be a little bit careful. Uh, okay, so I can't do anything right here. This is a level one tank right now, so that's good. Let's actually send this guy back to get healed. Da 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 da. I, I love this. I love the music in this game. I absolutely adore it. It is really well done. No, my level one tank. We gotta save it. I do love that there's an incentive to actually save your units in this game. It's actually really good. Oh, we should probably do something about that uh, mech. I really don't actually want to let it get the first strike on me. Uh, I could go capture, I suppose. Is there any good way for me to do this? Ba -da. Okay, now my artillery is covering this tank at least, so that's good. Well, I'm gonna win this... What did I... Did I just build a fucking flare? That was actually a misclick. <laughs> no! No! I didn't mean to... Can they fight? Like, can they fight? Yeah, like... Like, this is a... He's playing pre-deployed versus my... Okay, I should probably shoot with the artillery first. There we go. I have a fucking flare. Does it bug out the game in this mode? Can it attack? I suppose it can. Okay, that's kind of cool, I suppose. Boom, baby. Alright, still got some more units left. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna win this regard. Oh, this tank has like one hit point left. I should probably send it back to heal. Now, I wonder if I combine units together, do they actually keep their experience? That's actually something I want to check out. So, okay, that's not gonna make him lose anything, I suppose. Like, if, if I do this... Okay, so yeah, combining units is actually pretty good in this game. Because uh, it actually um, it actually transfers the experience over like it did in Super Famicom Wars. So that's kind of interesting to know. All right, let's uh, we have a bike unit here that's actually completely healthy. I wonder how bikes fare against recons. That's actually something I'm. Bikes are are a relatively new units. So I'm not kind of familiarized with. Wow, they don't really do well against infantry unit at all, do they? Okay. Let's send our tanks. They're probably going to get shelled. Oh, actually, no, I can do this. Good. Alright, so let's check out the flares. Wow, they actually do pretty well. They're like on par with recons, it would seem. Okay, so they can actually fight, but I don't think they're cost-effective outside of Fog of War, though. 
Alright, let's finish up this map. Boom, baby. No, not again! Ah, the beast is invincible! Your road ends here, beast. Captain Brenner, I'm afraid you'll have to return the units you produced. What about the units only function near the factory where they were made? What What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. Stray too far and you'll be left with, you'll be left with useless lumps of metal. Thanks, dog. This is a huge help. Alright, what rank will I get? A rank! Now, where were we? Before all this, I worked as a, as a medical researcher. My days were spent running small rats through large mazes. When the world was destroyed, I dug out of my ruined lab and made my way here. There were so many sick and injured people, I just did what I could. We owe our lives to Dr. Morris. He saved us. And I didn't even run them through a maze. Oh! Oh! oh, oh. Laughter is good for you, you know. You should try it sometime. Uh-huh. He's an amazing man, but his jokes are terrible. Dr. Morris, you remind me a bit of Captain Brenner. I was near death when he found me. He saved my life. It's good that there are still people like you around and him around in this world. Yeah, but my sense of humor still works. Well, I, I beg to differ, Brenner. I haven't heard you tell a single joke this entire playthrough, so... Well, you shouldn't make me out to be some kind of hero, Will. I was a selfish man. I entered medicine to satisfy my curiosity. Not to help people. I'd never even seen a patient before the meteor struck. I guess such situations teach you what really matters, eh, Captain? I know what you mean. Yes, exactly. But I fear we have other more pressing issues to discuss. With your people and my people combined, we have several hundred mounts to feed. However, our supplies are running lower than a snake in a wheel nut rut. A sore shortage of food is hardly a joking matter, Doctor. Huh? Did I make a joke? Anyway, I think I know how to solve a little problem, but I will need your help. Okay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'll end the part right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it so far. Um, seems like the difficulty is ramping up a little bit, so that's cool. Certainly enjoying the game a lot. So yeah, I'll, uh, my name is Manx, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!